continuing to speak softly. <clears throat> um, one thing about me is I'm meticulously detailed to, um, uh, I was asking this morning, you want me to wear the coat or spirit said no coat. All right. <clears throat> you guys seen those, uh, 700 club episodes where, um, someone was an ex witch or an ex satanist. You guys saw those YouTube videos and all that, right? Um, this morning, <clears throat> I was listening to my worship music. I was listening to Cece. You are worthy of it all. But hold on. Before you make your decisions, let me lay out my resume here. <clears throat> and the um, Holy Spirit let me download the Chosen app. I'm excited. Because I was asking, can I download that app? Because there's some very comforting scenes in that. None more comforting than all the scenes of me and Mary Magdalene. Love those episodes. <clears throat> Entertaining. We're about to put on this show, and the Holy Spirit wants to take it pretty far. So I'm inclined to agree, of course. And I was praying about um, how to explain this. Um, all the dark thoughts that man could ever conceive, right? I don't have them. So I kind of just pushed those towards uh, an abyss of things I don't. Is the best way I can describe it, but man has them. So I've always gotten into situations because I never saw certain things coming. They do things I never thought of is what scripture says. That's what predicated the flood. <clears throat> so I had to learn a lot of things. And when I was a kid, you guys saw the whole Friday the 13th thing, right? <clears throat> My babysitter would watch things like that. <clears throat> and for a kid, it was scary. Now, as I um, grew and grew and grew, the only thing that scared me, the exorcism of Emily Rose. So I'm about to give witches their own horror movies since they like horror movies. So that's my plan on that. <clears throat> and then of course I wanna talk about Thug Mama. Now, Thug Mama has done 17 years in a spiritual prison. That's why I call her Thug Mama. She's a little thug when she wants to be. A little fierce, terrifying. Give her a few drinks and just watch her go. <clears throat> but <clears throat> in most cases, she's... Um, I'm gonna back these demons down. I'm continuing to back them down for a certain reason, beloveds. When well, I once tied a principality to a tree played badminton and then made butterflies around it. So <clears throat> that's my way of doing things. Poetic justice without doubt. And then looking at it from the perspective of um, my wife and what she's been through. So the Holy Spirit has us in a little apartment <clears throat> and my wife used to get orders through these videos. Oh yeah. 
You're welcome for your healing, by the way. That, that was my pleasure. <clears throat> I was passing out healings. You get a healing, you get a healing, you get a healing, you get a healing. <clears throat> so we're in this little apartment. But before that, my wife is getting her orders from me because I would be like, shut up <clears throat> to the devil. And she didn't know the devil was all around her while she's watching these videos. So the devil's in there taking notes. Okay, that's what he does. All right, that's how you heard him. Okay, that's, okay. So all this stuff starts happening to me, right? So I'm tracing it back and tracing it back and tracing it back. I trace it back to how am I being um, discovered? Because I was at a, a military compound being hidden, part of the messianic prophecies. And I had come to the conclusion three years ago that we were gonna be headed towards a civil war, <clears throat> a Christian civil war. It was gonna be brother against brother. And I didn't want it, but I saw it happen. So when I used the term, <clears throat> no man comes to the father except through me, what I'm saying, if I'm not doing it, it's not of God. So keep that in mind. <clears throat> I don't cause confusion. I don't like confusion. So when me and my wife were in um, that apartment, before I was trained, if I had clarity on um, what the Holy Spirit was leading me towards, and then someone started speaking to me and I got confused, I simply avoided that person because I knew. So we're in this apartment <clears throat> and the devil is watching us try and have a marriage. The Holy Spirit's there because I had gotten my instructions. I let my wife hear what um, the Holy Spirit tells me a lot of times. I'll speak it out loud. Otherwise, I could just be quiet. <clears throat> but my instructions were, I want that city burnt to the ground. Her rescued. And... Um, then help it again. All right, my usual. So I'm there and I'm Jesus out. <clears throat> my wife had gifted me with all of these um, tokens of her obedience and love for God. And uh, it was the first time in a long time that I really received anything of value. But I knew it was from God, so I loved it. And in fact, it came from her. Loved it even more, Ben. I keep it in my heart. So I got Judah across the chest, Jesus shoes, Jesus crown. I'm flying my colors. And everybody's just calm. Like, it's Satan's city. So I'm technically not supposed to be there. But at the same time, exercising my authority... And that's why I got these for you, babe. <clears throat> the devil's under your feet. I was led to these by the Holy Spirit. When I came out of hell, the Holy Spirit had me get these Adidas. It scared me because it, it looked like snakeskin, but it had rainbows on the back. <clears throat> and the... Um, I'm not answering questions right now. <clears throat> the Holy Spirit always kind of used that to tell me, don't worry about if man calls you the devil. I know you're not the devil. You guys shouldn't worry about if someone's speaking evil against you. You should worry about if God believes you're evil. Because I had my Job moment, and I can tell you what sheer terror is. So a lot of you, um, let's veer back towards positive Jesus. <laughs> let's do that. First of all, Beelzebub, Hasatan is not your friend. You guys don't know what you're playing with, little witches. And 
and you go out there and you do your little moon rituals and you're like, hey, Beezlebub, come down here and play with me. Well, first of all, he's already living in you. Second of all, that's my simplistic human uh, agreed with by the majority way of putting things. That's not a anything at all what the real thing is as far as he <clears throat> so um the reason the exorcism of emily rose scared me and i was in an apartment by myself when i watched it for the first time is because that is reality that can really occur and is about to. I am not playing right now. It's impacted my people too much. You burnt down my tent with me in it. Like that wasn't cool. So <clears throat> my wife has all these terms, gang stalker, uh, Soul Scout Burr is what she used to use once a long time ago. Um, Marine Kingdom, something about Atlantis, all these things, right, that the devil has led her to that is ingrained in her. So we get there. By we, I mean me and the Holy Spirit. We're in the devil's kingdom in one little apartment in an asylum. <clears throat> I was like, all right. <clears throat> so I start lighting it up, right? <clears throat> we got the scripture, worship music, all this. We're just asking to get attacked. <clears throat> and she's uh, the strong little seraphim that she is, going about her daily business, not understanding she's in an invisible prison. And I was telling her, babe, I was like, hell is not to be taken lightly. Like, there's no love in hell. So, <clears throat> bringing um, heaven in there took a lot. There's also a lot of disappointment. There's also, I'm not gonna get into all of the facets of it, but we've both done time there, so. That's a testimony that will help a lot of people. Trying to help her understand my full capability as far as um, what she has experienced and then what it actually was in the spiritual realm was more like uh, there's this fierce animal and he's growling and he's got his teeth bared and everything and this little cat comes and just steps all over his face and then he calms down and smiles that's what it's like for me and my wife i wanted her to see it that way and one of my techniques that i utilized was one i'm just gonna make it unbearable for you to be here so i wasn't particularly the uh, ideal house guest at the time and then two, <clears throat> make it as gentle as possible by trying to fill these little pockets of um, darkness with light around us. So I was able to create that bubble of love around us and it kept getting attacked. Cause we also, and this I'm gonna help you guys out with cause I have to, hopefully it'll bring more Catholics to me is what I'm really um, aiming to do here. So not only that, we're in this box. <clears throat> She's communicating with Catholic territory. Now the reason demons love Catholic territory is what they love to do, some of them are um, mocking spirits. So they take the things of God 
and then gravitate towards them and then twist it into something dark. So you have engraved images, you have all these things. It's demon territory. Catholic territory is demon territory. So we're getting hit through the spectrum that way. <clears throat> so it didn't matter anything that we were trying to do. And God had told me that it's like, I'm not going to have a marriage in hell. This is a rescue mission. But you're married, so it's good. I wanted to rescue my wife. I, that was my final mission.